Hi, I'm Dr. Lisa Thompson of DrLisaMThompson.com, and I have a question for you. How do you build an engaged audience that's going to want to follow you and buy from you? Well, pay close attention because in this video, I'm going to share with you three simple ways to build an engaged audience. Now, online, when you are building a business online, there is a very specific formula that you have to follow in order to achieve long-term success with your business. You have to build an audience and engage your audience before you can sell to your audience. And so where most people failed, and I did this too in the beginning in a real big way, I focused on the sell piece. And I, what, I didn't know who my audience was and I didn't know how to build and engage them. So I did it backwards and my results suffered. So when I started shifting my thought process to building an audience, there are three components to building an audience of people who are going to want to buy from you. And I learned these components from uh, Seth Godin, and I also learned these from Russell Brunson, two top internet marketers. And so what they talk about is <clears throat> you want to be able to build your thousand fans, okay? If you really want to have financial security, you want to build a thousand true fans. And those thousand true fans are going to buy whatever you offer okay so it takes time to cultivate and build this thousand true fans so how do you do that well the first thing you have to do is you have to develop an attractive character so the attractive character is not someone who's good looking it's not based on physical appearance what the attractive character is the attractive character okay who you are you know the pain points of your audience you're speaking directly into them you're communicating into them you know what they're thinking okay and you have a story that relates to them okay the attractive character is a storyteller and so what that does and people learn best in stories people's attention spans are captivated by stories as we grew up and when we first were learning in school we learned through the telling of stories so what you have to do is know your audience is it are you focusing on the first time moms who are looking to lose weight are you looking to you know the middle-aged um, middle-aged parents who are looking to either a pay for their um, their children's college educations or to care for their aging parents or to save up for their own retirement who are you targeting and then you you create a story around that okay your, your your attractive character has a story where they overcame a very particular um problem that your audience has so in the example of the first time mom if you were someone like a first time mom who lost you know, having trouble losing weight, you can talk about the pain of being embarrassed to change into your pajamas in front of your husband because you felt self-conscious, okay? So that's a pain point. That's a pain point that a lot of first-time moms would have, okay? Or if you're marketing to the middle-aged adults where maybe they're finding out that their job hours are being cut, okay and you know they have to find money to supplement their income so those are some examples of some stories so number one you build an attractive character through the use of telling the stories the second thing that you have to do is that the you build your audience by having them be a part of a cause that's bigger than themselves okay there's a vision okay and a lot of times when you look at the most charismatic leaders whether it is in your um, network marketing team whether it's a president like john f kennedy or a mother Teresa, or a tony robbins okay they have a vision that goes beyond what is in it for them that they're out there to impact the world okay and so People love being a part of a cause that's bigger than themselves because we all have a human need, a core human need 
to contribute and to make a world a better place. Because a lot of times it's not so much, and I, I keep going back, you know, as the older I get, you know, at Christmas time, it's not so much, it's not as fun to give, to get gifts. It's more fun in the giving. And people love to do that. They love to contribute. They love to contribute to causes that they believe in, that helps them make an impact on the world. And then the third thing that you do when you're building an audience is you offer them an opportunity, a rare opportunity to do something. So that part sets them up for the sale. So when you look at the first two, the attractive character and getting them to believe in a cause higher than themselves, that's part of building and engaging the audience. And as you continue to provide value, you serve your audience, you're giving them things that are going to help them. And these are little bits of value and tidbits that pre-frame eventually what you're going to want to sell them. So, you know, when you know who your audience is, you know the language, you know the pain points, you know where they hang out. What this does is now you're speaking directly to them. You know, I keep thinking of the Grateful Dead. All right. I wasn't a big fan of the Grateful Dead, but they were somebody that, you know, they weren't a real big mainstream band, but they had a huge following. They didn't have a lot of top 10 records. They didn't have like multi-platinum, you know, um, albums that came out. Yet they made millions because they created music. They put on concerts that spoke and, and wrote music, sang songs that spoke directly to their fans. And their fans would follow them everywhere. They would buy everything. And if they were able to make millions without being on the Billboard Top 40 and having multi-platinum albums because they followed those three steps. Okay, so there you have it, my friends. I hope you got value today. If you did, leave a comment and share. And if you're not on my newsletter, go to workwithdrlisathompson.com. Put in your best email address and I'll start sending updates to your email box, sharing with you my latest tools, tips, strategies, and mindset that will help you grow a full-time income while only working part-time. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.